Hi, my name is Rosine Hart, and I am a ceramics work program teacher here at the Brookwood community. Uh, Brookwood is a place uh, where adults with special needs uh, can come to work and have a job. We call them citizens. Some of our citizens might just have um, struggles with fine motor tasks and may not be able to just grasp, you know, a handled brush. So you can do things like build up the handle on the brush and that decreases the amount of fine motor skills that they have to use to grip that brush in order to be able to paint. It has really just increased his self-confidence and his pride in his work. I love every minute of every day of my job. It's just a very joyous place to be and we do work and we work hard but um, we all work with the same sense of purpose and the same goals in mind. Good morning and welcome to Marvelous Wednesday. Today's lunch will be a mandarin orange salad with chicken wheat crackers, and a mango fruit salad. Have a great day. Thank you, Melissa. All right. Citizens who are very limited verbally with the use of our uh, Big Talk green switch, they can participate in that. They can read the menu out for the rest of the citizens. Even though what they're doing is pressing a switch and allowing a recorded message to play, they're the one that's providing the information for their fellow citizens. Everybody wants to do it, whether they can verbalize it themselves or not, everybody wants to be a part of that. So it's, it's been a, a lot of fun to watch them come out of their shells because the, they're doing things that they normally wouldn't be doing. So um, we, we were asked to paint um, a piece that was something we had not done before, and um, they're little tiny ceramic birds, and um, we felt like that was going to be something that presented a significant challenge for our citizens because, first of all, you would need to be able to, to grasp this little bird and hold it at the same time that you're trying to paint it all the way around. So one of the things that you know, we have to do when we're looking at that is figure out how can we make our citizens successful at that. We came up with a solution, a way that the birds could be held um, for them. They wouldn't have to do anything. They're, they actually sit in a jar and they're, they're tightly held and sit on top of a sponge and then they are able to, with one hand, if that's all that they have the ability to use, can paint that bird. So, um, it was, you know, a very, uh, actually one of the favorite activities of several of our citizens right now. One of the things we didn't talk about was the pouring switch that we have, which is a device that allows um, some of our citizens that have very limited movement, but if you can touch a switch, you can pour paint for your friend. And interdependence is one of the things we're really big on here at Brookwood, um, citizens helping citizens. So it, it's just another way that it really helps them feel good about themselves when they're able to do something for somebody else. Um, those two particular items are, you know, commercially made and targeted for the special needs population. We want all of our citizens to have greater meaning and purpose in their lives and we feel like the use of the assistive technology to help support that goal is one way that we do that here at Brookwood.